All right, so box number 27 is where we're starting off, and we have sum of interior angles of a polygon. So S is the sum of the interior angles, as it says on the bottom right over here. Great, this is S. Sum of the interior angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180. And the n stands for the number of sides. This is the n, number of sides. OK, so this is the formula we're going to be using for today if we're talking about the interior angles of a polygon. Polygon is just a closed shape. OK, so like this is a polygon. This is a polygon. That's a polygon, OK? All of those are polygons because they have lines, straight lines, and they uh, close a space. OK? Let's go to the next box. So box number 28 says, one interior angle of a regular polygon. So regular polygon, let me remind you, is when your polygon, your shape, has, it's like the most perfect shape for the number of sides. So like the square is a regular, this is not a good square. A square is a regular four-sided polygon compared to a rectangle, which is not regular, because look, on the rectangle, the side lengths are all different, but on the square, all the side lengths are the same. So regular polygons have all the side lengths being congruent. And then similarly, you can have a nice pentagon. Let me do my best to draw a nice regular pentagon. That's my best regular pentagon. Compared to like, this one is not a regular pentagon because all the side lengths are not the same here. So these are not regular, but the ones on the left, those are regular because they all have the same congruent sides. So all the sides are congruent. Here's the formula. A stands for one interior angles of a regular polygon. So that's the A. Here's the formula for it. And then we just have N being the number of sides. So number of sides minus 2 times 180 divided by N. So literally, it's just, let me highlight, it's literally just this formula right here on the top. So this is the total sum of all the angles divided by the number of sides. Okay? So that's your interior angle of a regular polygon equation. So for these two boxes, does anybody have questions? Type yes in the chat if you have a question so that I may know that I'm waiting. I'll give you guys 10 seconds. Okay, so it looks like nobody has questions, but interrupt me if you do, okay? Let's go on to the next few boxes. Let's talk about some of the exterior angle of a polygon. So earlier we had interior angles, that's all the inside stuff. Oh, let me draw you interior angles, by the way. Interior are like these guys. These are your interior angles. Of your polygons. The exterior angles are the outsides. So here now we're talking about the exterior angles. Let me draw you the exterior angles of some polygon. I'm just going to draw a hexagon because why not? Hexagons are easier somehow. That's a pretty decent hexagon, <laughs> if I do say so myself. So the exterior angles are these. The measure of all these angles. Oops. <laughs> that looks weird. I'm just going to take those off. This is like a germ. OK, so all the exterior angles of any polygon will add up to 360 degrees. It doesn't matter how many sides it has. OK. So. There's that. Sorry, I think I, I just drew those wrong. Let me show you the real exterior angles. If you just extend all of these out, let's extend. Sorry, I drew you the wrong exterior angles. Here's the real exterior angles. It's these. My bad. 
So those are your exterior angles. So if you copied the first thing I drew, please erase that and draw this instead. So these are your exterior angles of a polygon. Okay, any questions? I heard something. Was that a question? Okay, if not, that's totally fine too. Let's go on to the next box. One exterior angle of a regular polygon is you just take the 360 degrees and divide it by the number of sides you have. So N stands for the number of sides. So it's kind of similar to how in our first equation, you still take that first formula for the sum of the interior angles and then you divide it by the number of sides. Now we're taking the sum of the exterior angles which is 360, and dividing it by the number of sides for the one exterior angle of a regular polygon. So I'll give you 10 more seconds to tell me if you have a question, and if you don't, I'll stop the notes. Okay, then I'm gonna stop the notes.